how to move images from one patient's chart into another patient's chart inside XVWeb. If you've taken x-rays in the wrong patient's chart, it's very easy to resolve. Inside XVWeb, find those images, and on the right-hand side of the screen, the last icon says Move To. When you hover over it, it says Move Selected Images. I'm just going to move these four bite wings right now and left click on the move to. This screen that pops up, you've got your existing patient and a new patient. So if you're, you do have, if these images really belong to an existing patient that has images, you can easily find that patient's name. If all you know is their first name, put the first name in and click search. It's going to pull up every, uh, yep, let's do that first name. Pull up every patient with that first name. Put in the last name, put in the primary ID and click search. It kind of narrows down that field of view for you. So let's just choose this John Doe here. When you've made your selection in the existing patient category, you can click move and you get this are you sure confirmation screen asking these images will be moved to existing patient with the following information it gives you another chance to verify that i'm going to click close for now now if your patient is a new patient and they don't have existing images you have a, a patient record they have a chart but they don't have images then you would need to fill out this new patient what is their id what is their last name what's their first name what's the gender what's the patient's date of birth you might be using to putting these images in your new patients if you've been emailed images uh, new patients coming into your office they've emailed you their images but they don't have existing images in your chart so Get comfortable with both sides, the existing patient and new patient. You'd be manually inputting the new patient, literally typing in their ID, last name, gender, and birth date. Just so you can see this birth date, it is the year, the month, and the date. So you see the outer arrows will get, guide you through, you know, 2018, 2017. You could click in here, 1965. And when I tab over to the month, a little bit confusing here, but you can also use the calendar. The outer arrows run you back through all the years. See that? Uh, choose your date, and there you go. So the outer arrows run you through the years, the inside arrows run you through the months, going forward and backwards. So let's clear that. Once you've chosen that patient, if it's an existing patient, uh, choose the patient that they belong to, click move. I'm going to move these to John Doe. I'm going to click confirm. I wait for that to spin. It closes down and I can go back and double check that. Underneath the test patient, test test, click the search. Come here and put in your patient's name if you want to quickly double check that those images did make it over there. And that's the one I moved it to. I'm going to click on view and there's our bite wings from September 14th. It's that easy to move images from one patient's chart to the next. Let's come back to our search we can clear that if you need to move more than one image you're going to need to select those images so i can click my select button it's the left side of the screen underneath your patient's name click the select button it kind of highlights if i needed to move all these three images those two pas those two pas and those two pas you're going to want to select them if all of the images that you were taken that day. Same thing. We're going to go to the right hand side of the screen. We're going to click move to these thumbnails up here showing you this is everything that you're moving. So we can just do the same thing. If it's an existing patient, 
put in your patient's name, what you know of it, their ID, click search. It's going to populate that list, highlight who you need, click the move. It's giving you that confirmation screen. Are you sure? Click confirm. You'll see the spinning and we're here. Let's go back and search that John Doe. And now those images are here for us. Those layouts are here for us to see. This is the periapicals from 914 and those three series. It's that easy to move multiple series and a single series to the correct patient's chart in XVWeb.